Okay, so I've just got this little beauty arrived in the post, which is a Meizu um, MX4 uh, Ubuntu edition phone. So this is the latest and greatest uh, Ubuntu touch device. Um, so Meizu are a, a Chinese manufacturer. Um, the MX4 um, normal edition comes with a different OS which is called FlyMe4 which is a, a very customized uh, Android um, edition. So what we get in this box whoop, is a little thing here saying, Dear customer, congratulations on being one of the first to own uh, a Meizu Ubuntu phone. I believe you may have noticed the interior packaging um, is printed with the in introduction of Flymeo OS. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's basically just they've, you know, they've got the MX4 box and just a little extra flyer. Now, the MX4 um, edition with, uh, with Flymeo um, came out in September 2014, which is just 10 months ago. Um, you know, sort of fairly normal looking phone. However, the, the specs on this are really pretty, pretty impressive. Um, it's using a, a MediaTek um, MT6595 uh, system on a chip. Um, which is uh, uh, one of the, the uh, octa-core variants with four fast cores and four um, energy-efficient cores. So uh, that's four, uh, so a, a quad-core 2.2 gigahertz uh, Cortex-A17 uh, and another quad-core 1.7 um, Cortex A7. So, um, pretty damn decent processor there. Uh, four gig, sorry, two gig of RAM, uh, uh, 20 megapixel camera, um, and a 1920 uh, pixel LCD display with over 400. Uh, PPI. So here we go. This is whoop. This is the Ubuntu Touch experience. Now, if you can really even see those icons very well, but uh, you basically got, uh, you know, a launcher menu here. And then you can long swipe in from the right hand side. I might even be able to do it at some point, eh? Come on. You can do a long swipe in. And there you've got your running tasks. Special menu swipe up from the bottom edge. So yeah, the main feature of uh, of Ubuntu Touch or Ubuntu Phone, as it seems to be more commonly referred to now, is uh, is the idea of scopes, where scopes are really um, user or task uh, focused views. So rather than applications being the sort of the primary grouping for things, instead you have uh, tasks or items which are aggregated across multiple uh, applications uh, I mean I guess you get this sort of stuff with uh, notification systems where notifications are, are coming from multiple applications so 
so I'm just going to skip this for now. And maybe come back and do another video of that. Okay, and what have we got going on? I guess it's making me an initial kind of scope here. So what have we got? Uh, calendar, some weather. nearby <laughs> okay great guess at an address there completely wrong but uh, that's fine apps just built in apps here I haven't actually uh, installed anything extra news okay guess I could do with a little bit of uh, Customization to make that news relevant for me, that looks like a complete load of uh, random stuff. Music. I'll just play some music. Does that work? See, I'm not sure what the. Uh, What browser we're getting here? Okay, so let's try and go back. Ooh, me. Now, how do I make them go away? Mm, whoop! And away we're gone. Okay, well that's kind of nice. So that was shutting down an application. So you don't really have a home menu per se, you just have these active uh, active applications and then uh, you know you can go back to the previous ones or look at all running ones and then flip them away up like that. Video, so what we've got, that's going to Vimeo and I guess it can connect to YouTube. camera, okay, well that's not going to do an awful lot now is it really? Ooh. Mm. Hey Harvey It's a camera, not very exciting Okay, so let's flip back and see what we've got on the go so, yeah, you can see we've got two of them on the go there. There's the camera and there's the video. So if I do that, let's swipe down from the top and see what we get there. Okay. Not particularly thrilling. See what we have up here if I just click on the I click on these buttons to get to a oh yeah so if I press it and hold it there I'm getting a a kind of a selection thing so if I do that hmm, video hmm. so anyway as you can see I'm very much a uh, an Ubuntu uh, phone novice. Oh, that's a little more more readable, isn't it? There. So we've got we've got a browser. This is a settings. System settings. Okay, fairly normal. 
Ooh. Address book phone. And then what's this? I've gone to jobber. Okay. Is this one here? Gallery. Well, that's not going to be very interesting because I haven't done anything. Address book. I haven't imported anything. Apps. Yeah, let's have a let's have a look at the apps. So let's I go back to that. Oh. Anyway, okay, I'll stop fiddling around. That's quite a long enough video. So uh, anyway, there we go. There's the first impression of the Meizu MX4 Ubuntu edition. You know, decent hardware. So that was um, I paid 300 euro from that. Uh, they only ship to Europe. Um, so I had that sent to my parents' house in the UK. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, I'll play around with that a little more in the future. It's just one of a number of mobile Linux platforms that I'm. No, mobile Linux uh, bits of hardware I mean that uh, I'm looking to target for uh, Ethereum development okay all the best